Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Errol the Truth Spence Jr. says he's the boogeyman of the welterweight division and he believes he is the best welterweight out right now. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, Errol, the true Spence Jr., he has an upcoming fight. I'm looking forward to it. I'll probably try to swing out to Texas for that. It's going to be at the Ford Center, the Star, at the Star in Frisco, Texas where the Dallas Cowboys, I believe that's where they practice. He's the IBF title holder, and he's fighting his number one mandatory with the IBF, Carlos Ocampo, June 16th, again in, in Frisco, Texas. Now, they did a, a, a quick press conference yesterday and announced the fight formally to the media, and um, photographers took pictures and whatnot. And a lot of people don't know Ocampo, but he's ranked with the IBF. He's actually taller than Errol Spence Jr. He looked a little bit bigger than Errol Spence Jr. Now, we know height doesn't always tell the tale. Errol Spence Jr. has all the skills in the world. He's growing in confidence, everything. So, um, a guy with minimal experience at, at the higher levels, can he do anything with Spence? That remains to be seen. Obviously, Errol Spence, the champion, is going to be the favorite. Now, Errol Spence posted this and it's a picture of him and it says he's the boogeyman of the division i agree with it i talked to him in las vegas and it's on camera go check that that video out and he says he's the most avoided in in boxing which is another thing that i i would agree with because you look at his division you don't see too many people adamantly calling him out to the point where they're talking about fighting him next yes guys like Mikey Garcia have called him out. However, he's also said he's going down to lightweight to fight. And from what I heard, they're working on a fight with Robert Easter Jr. So if you're going back down from 140 to 135, that's the opposite direction of Errol Spence Jr. So although Mikey Garcia may want to fight him at some point, obviously the call out is premature because he's moving in the opposite direction. Very simple math, right? And aside from Mikey Garcia, there's not too many people calling him out. Yes, Terrence Crawford has called him out, but we still got to see how he looks versus Jeff Horn. That's his first welterweight fight. That's the fight that top rank has put in front of us. So we have to see the outcome of that before we start looking at um, unifications. It won't be a unification until Crawford gets that WBO belt from Jeff Horn. So I agree. I mean, you look at Gennady Golovkin. At one point, I think he was avoided. But you definitely can't say now that he's the most avoided because you got guys like Vonis Matarosin coming off a two-year layoff, coming off of a loss, and moving up in weight, having a new promotional situation from Al Heyman to Don King, right? And he's willing to take the fight on short notice. So if a guy's willing to do all that, then you can't say he's, he's the most avoided. Not to mention Jamal Charlo had a sensational knockout of Hugo Centeno Jr. He called out Golovkin, and he's the mandatory. Daniel Jacobs has said he wanted the rematch, and I talked to his trainer, and they said he said he wanted the rematch. Demetrius Boo Boo Andrade offered to step in when Canelo failed the test. Canelo wants to fight. You know what I mean? He says they might fight. His team says they might negotiate that fight for September when Canelo's suspension is up. Right, Billy Joe Saunders has expressed. So you guys get the point. You don't have that many top level deserving guys calling out Errol Spence Jr. In fact, it's the opposite. Keith Thurman vacated his belt and has disappeared into the abyss. We don't really know where his, his, his passion lies, right? Sean Porter has his sights on Danny Garcia, vice versa. You don't really hear him boldly talking about Errol Spence. So I agree with the boogeyman comment. Errol Spence also said, I do believe I'm the best welterweight in boxing right now. I've been trying to prove it for a long time. I'm never looking past anyone, but I'd love to fight Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, and when he's back, Keith Thurman. I'm ready to fight the best in the division, 
and prove I reign supreme over all of them. My motto is man down and I have to live up to it. I don't go in looking for the knockout, but I let it happen naturally. I let it come to me and we're definitely going to let it happen on fight night. Everybody poses a challenge in the ring. Ocampo is tough. He's young and this is something he's been fighting for his whole life. I know he's coming to fight. Mexican fighters have a great tradition. They come to fight and they don't back down. I know he's going to give it at all his all and that gets me motivated listen i've had people criticize me on the channel say oh you're errol spence lover and groupie whatever but i will say this how can you not like what the man is doing right he says he wants to be the best no one's called his bluff and said hey we sent you a, a, a very valid contract to fight we're top welterweights and you turned it down so you really don't. So until that happens, he's doing the right thing. Pursuing the best challenges, fighting is mandatory when he can't get the, the big names, the money fights, and he's putting on these performances that show his growth. You know what I mean? What he did to Lamont Peterson, no one's really made Lamont Peterson look like that. Yeah, Lucas Matisse stopped Peterson, but I mean, the way Errol Spence just broke him down and made it look like super one-sided, when other guys fought Peterson and had way tougher fights, like Danny Garcia, shows you the talent in this kid. Let me know if you agree. Is Errol Spence the boogeyman of the division? Um, all I know is he's doing the right thing. Got a lot of people buzzing. A lot of people reached out to me from Texas and said, hey, I live in Houston. We driving down for this fight. And you have to keep in mind, this is not even the biggest fight that could. It's not even like, you know what I mean, Errol Spence versus Keith Thurman or Crawford. And people are still supporting. That's how you know you're doing the right thing. When they just want to see you perform. They just want to see you fight. And they want to see a good fight. And I personally don't know too much about Ocampo. You know what I mean? I've heard his name, obviously. I've seen how he looked. Tried to look up some highlights and stuff like that. But um, let's see it. I, I just want to see it. That's who the IBF has ranked. He's, he's Mexican. A lot of Mexican fighters have fought valiantly and, and have certain intricacies with their style not all of them but you guys get get what i'm saying so maybe he's rugged he's, he's a little bit bigger than spence so let's see what he does let me know what you guys think drop your thoughts in the comment section make sure you smash the like button as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off